Hey everybody, how you guys doing? It's your main man, AJ Smith, coming to you guys with another quick video, another important message. And this is a topic that not many people think about. We all know that we are being blessed every single day just to wake up, smell the air, see the sunrise, and know that the man upstairs is giving us another day to live and bless ourselves and bless others. And I believe the biggest blessing is that we're able to not only wake up and say a prayer, but also say a prayer for others as well. We often count our blessings before they even happen. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. Some of us will pray to the man upstairs for blessings, and those breasts, and those, some of those blessings will happen like this. Others will happen later on down the line. We have our short-term blessings, then we have our long-term blessings. The ones that are meant to happen right now, and the ones that are meant to happen later on in the future, but for long-term use. But no blessing, no blessing goes without its curses. Now, just like there's those long-term blessings and short-term blessings, there's also the short-term curses and the long-term curses. Now, I know some of you guys don't want to believe in curses, but come on, for all the positive in the world, there's the negative. For all of the light, there's the darkness. There's that thing called the yin-yang theory. But that's where the topic of this specific video comes into play. Like I've said in my other videos before, there's often ways to get rich and there's often ways to get wealthy. There's the short-term wealth and then there's the long-term wealth. Now, as Robert Kiyosaki has pointed out, and by Robert Kiyosaki, I mean the Rich Dad Poor Dad series, go on ahead and get the book. If you guys don't have the book, go on ahead and get it. There should be a bookstore near you somewhere. If not, uh, there's a Books A Million or you can get it on Amazon. If I can find it, I'll put in the link in the description below. It's not a very hard book to get and it's pretty cheap and it's very, very, very simple to read. Robert Kiyosaki himself, in my eyes, is a genius. It was one of the first books that I ever read about money, business, and mindset. And it's technically a mindset book that was able to basically do a 360 on my mindset when it came to money, finance, the long-term versus the short-term, assets versus liabilities. He breaks it down perfectly. I definitely recommend the book. But um, back to the subject, for some of you out there, for some of you out there, you prayed and prayed and you got your blessings. Now, no blessing goes without its curse but most importantly, no blessing just happens just like that. It takes work. It takes work ethic. For us men, our blessings come in time. And it takes patience. And I believe that for women, it happens the same way too. I was talking earlier tonight, or earlier um, last night, because right now it's about what, I think... About two in the morning, I was talking to one of my managers last night at work. It was around maybe 10 or 11. And I was thinking about one of my ex-girlfriends. Now, I don't talk about my, any of my exes, but this specific one, this specific topic, it's what made, it's what got me making this video now. Because one of my ex-girlfriends, she once, at one time, years ago, prayed for a child. Much like any woman wants to have a child, she prayed for a child. At around the early ages of 20, 21, maybe 22. Somewhere around there. Now, there's nothing wrong with this wish. There's nothing wrong with this prayer. There's nothing wrong with praying for the man upstairs to bless you with a newborn angel. Nothing wrong with that. But... This also brings me towards the, the stumbling block that when you get what you pray for, it's not just about you getting what you pray for, it's how you go about it and what you went through to get it. Remember, there are blessings and curses. Now, a child is not a curse, but the circumstance in which you go about getting and having a child could be a curse. Just throwing this out there. But a child is always, 
always a blessing. I'm never going to downplay children or having children or the long-term effects of children. Never gonna downplay that. In my eyes, children are nothing more than angels that come from above and are born and manifested onto this playing field that we call Earth, life itself, and it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. But my ex, of course, is one of those women, or at least back then she was, was the kind of person that would depend on somebody else to be there for her without her giving anything in return at that point in time. Now, I'm not throwing any shade, I'm just telling it how it is. Just telling it how it is. Far as I know, at that point in time and up till now, she is still a single mother. Much like a lot of other women are becoming single mothers these days because they put their trust in certain men that they are attracted to. Now, once again, blessings come when you least expect them. And this, and in this day and age, they're coming in the form of harsh relationships that women are choosing. I mean, I gotta give a big shout out to O'Shea Duke Jackson because I watch a lot of his videos and his channel is mainly upon single mothers, single women who choose a specific guy to give all their attention to, have a child with, and then the man leaves out of nowhere. No responsibility, no accountability, no nothing. And then that single mother has to run back to another person, another guy who has the right mindset, who has all of his finances in a row, or at least is building a financial legacy for himself, and she has to go on ahead and try to use him and his resources. Now, at first I didn't see anything wrong with this, but when you come across a woman like this who's a single mother who shows how ungrateful she can be, there's a problem. Now, I'm not bad-mouthing anybody, but that brings me back to why I made this video in the first place. Because it seems like once you as a person get the blessings that you prayed for, get the blessings that you strive for, it seems like the only way that you can strive is by holding somebody else back. You don't hold yourself accountable until the last minute. That's why I said blessings versus curses. Short-term blessings versus long-term blessings. Short-term curses versus long-term curses. Does that make any sense? If it makes any sense, please drop a comment, like, share, and subscribe, and let me know what you think. Share this video with anybody else that needs to hear it. Now, once again, I'm not bad-mouthing women, but I am going to keep it real. I really don't care if anybody see, uh, hear, sees this video and says, oh, he's bad-mouthing women or single mothers. How am I bad-mouthing women when it is their choice to be with the person that they are attracted to that is not going to be there for them long-term they were good to that woman for the moment and then they left. And now that woman is either going to A, rely on a good man, which she should have stuck with to begin with, or B, stick to herself and be a single mom and feel like, oh, I can do this by myself. A woman has plenty of choices and it seems like nowadays women are choosing the wrong guy. They're choosing a guy who's only good for the moment instead of choosing a guy who is good for long-term use. I have nothing against the children. The angels are beautiful. Every woman who has a child who has an angel um, born into this world, it's a beautiful sight. But you're giving the child, you're getting a child from a man who is only good for that moment. Once again, Long-term blessings, short-term curses. The short-term curse was getting with the guy that did not care about you, that would abuse you and leave you, etc., etc. And he's not paying for a thing. The long-term blessing was the child from 0 to 18 years. In my eyes, it's no different from choosing a bad investment from a good investment. It's no different. But women are definitely choosing the guys that they are most attracted to. And the guys that they're most attracted to either don't care about them and only want them for the moment. Or have two or three different baby mamas with several children from each one. And you're just the latest person 
to be picked. And the most amazing part is some of you women, you don't care if the guy has other women and children with those women. As long as you can get that guy, you think it's going to be different. Instead of sticking with the guy that you know is short term. But I guess I can understand that. Why stick with what's easy where you can go for what's hard? Why stick with what is simple when you can go for a challenge and try to see if you can change the person that could not be changed by three or two or one other person? Once again, when you as a woman pray for a child or pray for a certain blessing and you get that blessing, why hold back the guy that you did not want to get that blessing from when he's trying to strive for a blessing that he has to work for? You got your blessing already as the woman. You got your blessing already. You wanted your blessing. You, pr you prayed for your blessing. You got it from a person that would give it to you. And you got it for the moment. You got a good time in the moment in the bedroom. And then you got the long-term blessing, which is the child. But why block a blessing from another person that you did not want to have a child with? And let's say that the good man, the decent man, who has his mind in a good place for the long term, let's say that man did want to have a child with you, but he wanted to wait on it. He wanted to wait till he had a financial foundation that he could um, that he could use to back up that child in all ways, shapes, and forms. You as the woman did not want that. You as the woman did not want that. You did not want to have a long-term financial uh, backing compared to the short-term financial backing that you have now. You'd rather choose government assistance, food stamps, and being alone rather than being with the guy who has the right mindset and wants to start a business and wants to have some kind of financial backing with investments, etc. Far as I'm concerned, for some people, like myself included, for some guys like myself included, we've dodged a bullet. Once again, big shout out to O'Shea Duke Jackson for all of his good content because he is definitely helping men like himself, like myself, and others figure out that we have made the right decisions by not giving women what they want. And since we did not give the women what they want, when they wanted it, they went and found somebody else. It's just like that saying goes, the grass is always greener on the other side. Well, quick question, ladies. For all of you single women out there who had a good man that you could have had a good family with, a good financial backing compared to the life you have chosen with somebody else that did not stick around, is the grass greener on the other side? Is the grass greener on the other side? Ask yourself that question. I'm not talking about are the kids a burden? Are the kids a curse? No child is a burden. Every child is a curse. No, actually, I came out wrong. <laughs> Every child is a blessing. But is the financial backing a curse? Is doing it by yourself a curse? Think about that. Think about that hard. And to be honest, it must be. The challenge of doing it by yourself, it must be a curse. Because the same woman who I was talking to one of my managers about, I'd say about a few years before COVID-19, before 2020 started, I was given a call by one of my exes saying, I'm sorry. This is the woman, by the way. She's the one calling me, telling me that she is in her feelings and that she should have chosen me. That is something I did not expect. I saw it coming because of all the content that I've seen from other people. Once again, big shout out to O'Shea Duke Jackson. Once again, he's always back at it again. Big shout out to him. Once again, if you are enjoying what you are hearing, like, share, and subscribe. If you are interested in any financial backing when it comes to free money, all of my links will be down below. Robinhood, M1 Finance, um, Weeble, get your free stocks by putting in as much as $100 at least. If you're
you're interested in earning free money, click the links below to either Chime, One, fin um, One Finance, um, Ally Bank. Go on ahead, take advantage of all this free money that's coming up. Uh, get a direct deposit between two to five hundred dollars per each bank, and share this free information with everybody else who wants to make some free money. Let's help each other out. Let's help each other out, because apparently some of these ladies who are choosing other men to just have kids with, and they don't care about the decent men who want to have a financial future. Apparently, we're in it on our own, so let's do ourselves a favor and let's help each other out. If the women are not going to help us out, if the women do not believe in us, if there are some women out there that do not believe in us, that do not believe that we can become entrepreneurs, that do not believe in the long-term justification of financial backing, then it's up to us as decent men, good men, like-minded men, to step up and you take care of some of these financial obligations financial um, opportunities, these free financial opportunities. I'm not saying don't rely on the government for stimulus checks or free money or housing or whatever, but let's get in on some of these free bank and brokerage apps and get into some free long-term wealth and short-term money. Once again, the links are below this video for all of the online free bank accounts Put in at least two to five hundred dollars direct deposit get this free money right now and get in on these free broker jabs that are good for the long-term wealth aspects if you don't want to work if you don't want to be scrounging for money between the ages of 30 40 50 60 and above anywhere between those ages let's get in on some of this free money if this made anybody angry specifically the women there's nothing i can do about that it's not my fault. You women who are single mothers specifically, who made your choices with the men that you chose, you all have choices, they all have consequences. Your choices have consequences and they have the rewards. The rewards were the beautiful children that you've given birth to. And I have nothing wrong with that. But the consequences for those choices was being alone and being terrorized, threatened, abused in all ways, shapes or forms by the men you chose. And once again, I, have for, I am further proof of this because I've had at least one or two women come back to me saying that I am in my feelings and it should have been me. So you guys have a great day, have a great night, depending on when you're seeing this. Many blessings to you all, both men and women alike. Love, peace, namaste.